This is Wes. Um, it's the Wes Hess channel. Kitchen Cook. Wild Hog. South Texas. I got skunked on my hog hunt the last two times on this down here by the San Antonio River. Not this time. I uh, cut a chunk of bacon off of him and we're going to fry it up and eat it. This is day eight of uh, my hunt out here. I had give it up. He was the last. Well, technically I had an hour to go and I was going to go away and gather everything up. And there he was. And it took me a while to find him, he ran into a thicket, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a live stream that tells you all about that part. Anyway, we're going to eat him now. I'm going to cook him on that fire in that skillet. Then we'll set in that chair and we eat this, well, this bacon. Stay tuned. Just in case anybody thinks this coffee pot's always sitting on this fire, just for show. Well, the answer is no. Now, the trick to cooking on a fire like this, where you ain't got a grill or grill, grate, grill, grate, whatever, or nothing, is you don't want roaring, roaring flames. You just want some coals. Because uh, flames bad make grease hot, burn stuff. Crisco burns real easy anyway. See how the you can see how the Crisco she just be be melting, she don't be just dissolving instantly. Some good thought right there. Secret ingredient got lumpy. What's the fresh out of the pig, that's for sure. Just put a little salt, well, actually a lot of salt, it's bacon for crying out loud. Pour a little pepper. Yeah. They know how to cook channel. And then you take and you put that side down. And then you put some more pepper on this side. And then you take the secret ingredient. That little known thing that is that the missus doesn't like it. So I only, I only get to use it that much when I'm cooking just for me. Oh, that smells good already. Smell it. Smell it. Stick your nose right in there. 
just stick your nose right in there and get your milk. Mmm, smell like bacon. The uh, thing with doing this kind of stuff is it's a lot of work. But it's also a lot of fun. I've had more fun in the past eight days. Well, it's actually been count the first day driving. This will be day nine away from the house. I've been missing my wife a lot, then my grandbabies and my kids and everything. Um, I've cheated. They, there's internet out here now, and I've. Stayed in touch with folks a little bit. We got to speak with Mrs. Had a live stream from out here. You know, we've got company. Uh, you know, ain't but half a mile walk. If I want to visit somebody, so all in all, it's been a pretty sweet deal. The So, could I go out somewhere and spend, you know, take all my food with me, go out in the woods and spend seven days standing on my head? Um, could I do it out of my bug out bag? I'd be hungry. I'd be ready for a cheeseburger when I got home. Well, not this time. Uh, at the end of day one, I shot enough meat to make me the entire time I was here. So, There you go. I got, you know, I wouldn't have been hungry this time. Ordinarily, you know, you, you're, there's no guarantee it's going to be hunting season. Now, at the end of day seven, I saw 40 or 50 hogs. I don't even know. I couldn't count them. There's so damn many of them. I had a phone call. Anyway, um, it's been good. Accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish. I can do this kind of stuff. Uh, alone's not easy. It's been a whole lot easier with, with people here. You know, I had offered to help, but you know, kind of defeated what we're trying to do. Got to fight down the urge to make gravy. Got work to do. Can't have a full belly and be all sleepy. Bon appétit. Can't get bacon fresher than this. Anybody want to skin this?
something that I had begun to doubt was whether or not you could kill a hog in South Texas. You can, and they taste delicious. Get out and do something. Hunting hogs is a good thing. They're actually, they're super invasive. They're a real problem. They're dangerous. They're dangerous to wildlife. They're dangerous to domestic pets. They're dangerous to your children, to your husbands, to your wives, to your sisters, your brothers. They need to be gone. And from the pasture to the plate is a really good place for them to go. Y'all stay alive, don't die. I bet you wish you was me.